Lifestyle and Communication of Ants Consider the following Qur'anic verse. And before Suleiman were marshaled his hosts of jinn and men and birds, and they were all kept in order and ranks. At length, when they came to a lowly valley of ants, one of the ants said, O ye ants, get into your habitations, lest Suleiman and his hosts crush you underfoot without knowing it. Al-Qur'an, chapter 27, verses 17 and 18. In the past, some people would have probably mocked the Qur'an, taking it to be a fairy tale book in which ants talk to each other and communicate sophisticated messages. In recent times, research has shown us several facts about the lifestyle of ants, which were not known earlier to mankind. Research has shown that the animals or insects whose lifestyle is closest in resemblance to the lifestyle of human beings are, in fact, the ants. This can be seen from the following findings regarding ants. A. The ants bury their dead in a manner similar to humans. B. They have a sophisticated system of division of labor, whereby they have managers, supervisors, foremen, workers, etc. C. Once in a while, they meet amongst themselves to have a chat. D. They have an advanced method of communication amongst themselves. E. They hold regular markets wherein they exchange goods. F. They store grains for long periods in winter, and if the grain begins to bud, they cut the roots, as if they understand that if they leave it to grow, it will rot. If the grains stored by them get wet due to rains, they take these grains out into the sunlight to dry. And once these grains are dry, they take them back inside as though they know that humidity will cause development of root systems and thereafter rotting of the grain. Everything made in pairs. And of everything we have created pairs. Al-Qur'an chapter 51 verse 49. This refers to things other than humans, animals, plants, and fruits. It may also be referring to a phenomenon like electricity in which the atoms consist of negatively and positively charged electrons and protons. Glory to Allah, who created and pairs all things that the earth produces, as well as their own humankind and other things of which they have no knowledge. Al-Qur'an chapter 36 verse 36 The Qur'an here states that everything is created in pairs, including things that the humans do not know at the present and may discover later. Animals and birds live in communities. There is not an animal that lives on the earth, nor a being that flies on its wings, but forms part of communities like you. Al-Qur'an, chapter 6, verse 38. Research has shown that animals and birds live in communities, i.e. they organize and live and work together. Barrier between sweet and salt waters. Consider the following Qur'anic verse. He has let free the two bodies of flowing water, meeting together. Between them is a barrier which they do not transgress. Al-Qur'an, chapter 55, verses 19 and 20. In the Arabic text, the word barzakh means a barrier or a partition. This barrier is not a physical partition. The Arabic word maraja literally means they both meet and mix with each other. Early commentators of the Qur'an were unable to explain the two opposite meanings for the two bodies of water, i.e. they meet and mix, and at the same time there is a barrier between them. Modern science has discovered that in the places where two different seas meet, there is a barrier between them. This barrier divides the two seas so that each sea has its own temperature, salinity, and density. Oceanologists are now in a better position to explain this verse. There is a slanted, unseen water barrier between the two seas through which water from one sea passes to the other. But when the water from one sea enters the other sea, it loses its distinctive characteristic and becomes homogenized with the other water. In a way, this barrier serves as a transitional homogenizing area for the two waters. The scientific phenomenon mentioned in the Qur'an was also confirmed by Dr. William Hay, who was a well-known marine scientist and professor of geological sciences at the University of Colorado. The Qur'an mentions this phenomenon also in the following verse. And made a separating bar between the two bodies of flowing water. Al-Qur'an, chapter 27, verse 61. This phenomenon occurs in several places, including the divider between the Mediterranean and the Atlantic Ocean at Gibraltar. But when the Qur'an speaks about the divider between fresh and salt water, it mentions the existence of a forbidding partition with the barrier. It is he who has let free the two bodies of flowing water, one palatable and sweet, and the other salty and bitter, 
yet he has made a barrier between them, and a partition that is forbidden to be passed. Al-Qur'an, chapter 25, verse 53. Modern science has discovered that in estuaries, where fresh, sweet, and salt water meet, the situation is somewhat different from that found in places where two seas meet. It has been discovered that what distinguishes fresh water from salt water in estuaries is a pinocline zone with a marked density discontinuity separating the two layers. This partition, or zone of separation, has salinity different from both the fresh water and the salt water. This phenomenon occurs in several places, including Egypt, where the River Nile flows into the Mediterranean Sea. The Presence of Interstellar Matter Space outside organized astronomical systems was earlier assumed to be a vacuum. Astrophysicists later discovered the presence of bridges of matter in this interstellar space. These bridges of matter are called plasma and consist of completely ionized gas containing equal number of free electrons and positive ions. Plasma is sometimes called the fourth state of matter, besides the three known states of solid, liquid, and gas. The Qur'an mentions the presence of this interstellar material in the following verse. He who created the heavens and the earth and all that is in between. Al-Qur'an 25, 59. It would be ridiculous for anybody to even suggest that the presence of interstellar galactic material was known 1400 years ago.